Here now with reaction, he is the House Oversight Committee Chair. James Comer is with us. You know, we're really looking at two things here, Congressman. One is what your committee's looking into, the Biden family and this foreign criminal money-making scheme. What do you make of what we know right now? In other words, you, you, you actually told Ted Cruz on his podcast that Joe Biden has been selling access to our enemies for decades. Will that now be proven? Well, I think we're getting closer every day. Uh, we're at the point now, we're in the deposition phase. We need people like Devin Archer to come forward and tell us what they know. Uh, we already have bank records, we have emails, we have text messages, we have phone records, uh, we have testimony from other people. Uh, so we know a lot about what Joe Biden's involvement was. Uh, we're at the point to where we need people to come in under oath and uh, go into more detail because I think all roads point to Joe Biden. I think any reasonable American would see that. But uh, for this mainstream media, Sean, we have to have a whole lot more evidence than Adam Schiff or Jamie Raskin did when they were going after Trump. But we're going to provide the evidence, and I think we're making progress every day. Now, we know that Devin Archer had canceled a couple of times on you. you I, we expect that he will testify before your committee a week from today. Uh, you had also previously said that you expect Hunter to face between six and ten criminal referrals. Uh, now, Joe Biden told the American people again and again and again that he never, ever talked to his son or his brother or anybody, for that matter, about, his foreign, about their foreign business dealings, China, Russia. Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Romania, Mexico, and about a dozen other countries. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but now Miranda Devine is reporting that Devin Archer, we expect that he will talk about very specific examples where Joe Biden was, was put on a speakerphone by Hunter in front of his foreign business partners. Was, was he the closer of these deals? It sure sounds a lot like that, Sean. You, you look at uh, the laptop and all the people that Joe Biden claimed he never had any dealings with or didn't know, there are pictures, there are text messages, there are emails. Uh, there's evidence uh, through and through that shows Joe Biden knew these people, he spent time with these people, and he communicated with these people. Now, we know of several instances where Joe Biden was, in fact, uh, in direct communication with some of these business associates, I guess you could call them. I call them people who are uh, foreign nationals sending money through shell companies to the Biden family. But at any rate, uh, Joe Biden was a lot more involved in Hunter Shady business schemes than uh, he has ever admitted. How many specific examples, again, Joe Biden said he never even talked to his son about this. How many specific examples, how many pictures, how much direct evidence do you have that Joe Biden lied to the American people and, in fact, his family benefited financially? And how many millions are we talking about? Well, we've got already proven over $10 million, and we're sitting on a lot more bank records. Uh, we're going to bring people in now to try to explain uh, where this money came from. Because as, as we've said before on the show, Sean, many of these shell companies, uh, he had people like Rob Walker, uh, uh, like Devin Archer, whose name was also involved in some of these companies that received the initial money wires from the foreign nationals. And then they were then transferred into the Biden shell companies and then laundered down to the Biden family. This is a very organized, complex scheme. Uh, that uh, has taken a long time to figure out. It was difficult by design. That's what the Form 1023 said. That's what the uh, yeah. CEO of Burisma said, that investigators would take 10 years uh, to unravel this well, because they sent the money through, sent the bribes through so many different bank accounts. But I think we're getting there. We just need people to come in now, like the IRS whistleblowers did in front of the American people last week, and tell the truth. All right, Chairman Comer, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.